Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are looking at the Dragonite GX. As I said in the deck profile video, this is a meta crusher. Uh, hopefully, I get to show you a really good game here and uh, show you how this deck works. <clears throat> it looks like he's playing a water deck. Oh yeah, Dragonite doesn't have uh, weaknesses, so that's like really just super awesome for us. Oh, we got a Volkner, turn one. So there's multiple things we can do here um, with the Volkner this turn. We're going to try to set up two Dratinis. Uh, yes, please. Okay. So uh, we got the Rare Candy, we got the Volkner. Um, just tons of options here, to be honest. Um, let's play Volkner. Let's, let's check our deck here real quick. Uh, we have the other Dragonite, we have both, we have our Zero Aura, Tapu Koko, uh, Lance Prism Star, Triple Acceleration, Volkner, okay. Um, so, pretty good, pretty good here. Uh, let's grab one of these this turn, and one of those. You can go, because we want one Dratini. Um, and I definitely want to attach this lightning energy to him. So we're probably just going to Mysterious Treasure, our Mysterious Treasure, for the second Dratini. Uh, we'll end here, because that's about all we can do, but uh, that's a pretty good setup, as you can see. We're going to Rare Candy for one Dragonite next turn, and then we'll Rare Candy for the other on the following turn. Is basically how we're going to play this out. Would have been nice if we could get, get like a switch or something, but not the end of the world. Okay, we drew another energy here. It's pretty good. So, uh, let's rare candy into this one with this guy. Could have tried to play Dragon Porter, but honestly, um, that's always a little risky. So, we're going to Volkner for our other rare candy. I wish we could grab switch here, too. Um, but that's alright. Next turn. Next turn. One turn at a time. Uh, retreat our Pidgey. Bring out our Dragon. And 70 damage here. So if he doesn't bench a basic in the next turn, um, he's pretty donezo. That's like as quick as a Dragon Egg game can be. Getting like a th There it is! Like getting a stage 2 GX that fast um, and being able to do damage with it. Um, there's a free win. Uh, let's do another game here, and uh, so we can show you how this works with a better game, hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another game uh, with the Dragonite GX deck. <clears throat> uh, was that a Psychic deck? <laughs> uh, I hope not. We're weak into that. Especially if it has, like, spell tags and stuff. We don't outlast no Giratinas. But uh, let's see how we do here. <clears throat> I apologize uh, if I sound a little tired. It is late out here on the West Coast, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys. So here I am recording. Uh, so we got a Ditto Prism, which is pretty nice. Um, we can receive treasure all that. Let's get another Tini. Um, uh, we can also Pokecom him for a Pidgey. And then we can Cynthia. For a full hand refre uh, refresh, uh, we got a Volkner. <laughs> the best thing. Uh, we'll see what we can do with that next turn. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
would have liked uh, <laughs> something else here, maybe a couple of uh, Pokemans. But yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna get any. If he doesn't basic this turn, then we're, we're taking out this Esper for free. Um, looks like he got an NK. He's gonna go for a double NK. So I might just grab uh, Dragon Dragonair here. Hopefully we have him and put the lightning energy onto him. And uh, evolve, take out this Esper. Quickly, depending on what we get here. Uh, he's gonna counter day for some more cards. I wanna break his setup and make him pull out um, NK. Uh, so yeah, we got the second Dratini, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be doing a lot else here. Oh, I could have, could have grabbed Poke. No, no, I couldn't because then I, yeah, I would still have to, still have to rare candy. Um, let's grab this. I don't think we're gonna need. All right, let's just do that to be safe. Hopefully we flip at least one heads here. Come on. Alright, nice. Uh, it is recycle energy, so it does go back into his hand. Um, hopefully we get a better setup here. Or else it's gonna be super annoying for us to do anything. He's just gonna get to Catterday again if he doesn't have like Malamars and stuff in his hand. But let's see. I'm hoping he has a stale hand as well, so we can uh, we can do something here. If we get a Mysterious Treasure or like a Volkner or anything reasonable, oh he he tate he tate and lies it for five, so he's he's definitely looking for uh, something here. Might just have like as bad of, as a hand as we do right now. Uh, there's a Mysterious Shredder, so he's definitely gonna get at least a Malamar here. Uh, or maybe a Giratina, I don't know. Let's see. He has a lot of options. He could even grab like an Espeon Deoxys, to be honest. We need a refresh. We need to be able to get our uh, Pidgeotos out. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Like, that Cynthia was terrible. Um, he's going for the triple in K, I think. Um, yeah, looks like it. He might have a Malamar in his hand. Okay, he's looking. We got the rare candy, but not a lot else. Uh, yeah, I don't want to attach any energies this time. It's probably just gonna spell tag our Dragonair, to be honest. Oh, or you could just take the Ditto um, off the board, yeah, with 40. It's fine, it's fine. That's what I said, this deck doesn't really do great in the spell tag. Like, if he was already set up, uh, we would have already lost this game, so. Hoping for uh, Cynthia or something decent here. Come on. Oh my god, a water energy, really? <laughs> That's just not working out. I, I need uh, I need something next turn. Really need something. Sears Treasure, Volkner, anything, anything. Please, I believe in the heart of the cards. Oh my lord! Uh, here comes the Malamar at least, or maybe even a Giratina. I don't know. I'm scared. He needs Malamars because he's like discarded like oh only two energy okay I thought he discarded more than that really hoping he doesn't have an attacker in his hand uh, we need one more turn here uh, bench me is not bad for us we don't attack the bench um, I'm hoping he doesn't draw into a lily or something here he's got something oh my god there it is there's the lily so he's He's thinned out his deck quite a bit now. He's definitely bound to draw into something good here. 
Um, has he already used a supporter for this turn? I don't think so. So he might just. <sighs> we need we need something on the next turn, like or else we're not gonna make anything happen. There's no way he still has a stale hand after that. <clears throat> Emolga. Plus, I need a Volkner. <laughs> I need a mysterious treasure. Oh, I need something useful here. We're just bench with a bunch of basics. <laughs> oh man. Like, if he gets one Giratina on the board, we're, we're donezo. We're donezo. If I can take out a couple of- oh, there's a second Malamar, like, I'm pretty scared at this point. Uh, if I can take- like, he's not gonna give me Mallys, right? We don't have a Gusting in this deck, so... He's gonna play super safe, put out this Amolga, give me this Mew, and then give me his Mallys, so... Uh, if he gets this third Malamar, or even if he draws into his Giratina somehow next turn... Okay! Uh, it looks like he actually had a worse hand than, than we did. Uh, should not have gone this way. This deck does not do well in anything that runs like... We're back with the Dragonite GX deck. Uh, hopefully we get a decent hand to try and show this deck off. I want to go first, so... Alright, here we go. Let's go first. Let's get a good setup here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can definitely deal with this. Uh, let's put him out. We need a mysterious treasure here and we're golden. Turn one, literally. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's Volkner for the rare candy because I feel like we can eventually draw into our um, our Dragonite somehow. It's harder to get a, a rare candy than it is to grab the Dragonite in this deck. So let's do that. See what he does here. He's playing the fossils, uh, boys and girls. So it might be the item lock coming in um, with Amistar. Depends on how many cards he plays. It could also be Aerodactyl. Lacy Dark. What kind of deck you're. Oh, so yeah, Fighting Energies might mean Air, um, Amistar Aerodactyl. Because Aerod Aerodactyl uses normal, so you could use anything for that. I'll be right back. What did I miss? Okay. He's grabbed the Cranidos. Um, we don't want to stamp him. Actually, literally not a lot we could do. Um, let's toss this out there. Uh, get rid of his, his devious field. And the next turn we'll do, um, we'll try to do that again to with we can tapu coco um or we can just attach but yeah okay 
that is our turn. We we really need like a supporter card here. I might I might go back and change the support account a little bit. Because it looks like we could draw into like some really, really stale hands on the occasion, and that can be terrible. Larvitar, this is like a really new deck for me. I have not played into this. I'm not sure what it can do, what its capabilities are. Search your deck for a card, huh? That'd be pretty scary. I wonder what he's searching for. Like, I want to reset stamp him, but... <laughs> I just don't know if that's, like, the best idea here. Would I be giving him more cards than he needs? Like, what does he have in his hand right now? <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't even know. I'm confused. I am confused. Like, we literally need a Volkner or uh, a Mysterious Treasure. Anything would just do wonders for our game. But let's see what happens here. There's a water energy. Yippee Kaye. Out comes the fossil. We can't attack with Plasma Fist next turn, so we really need something next turn. Uh. Stop drawing into these sail hands. Oh, so he went. For, he went for the energy. So I don't know. Maybe reset stamping him. Nope, he has the Cynthia, so he's good. We'll stamp him this turn. We need. Um, we need our guy. We need our Volkner. Like Volk Volkner would do crazy things for us next turn. Plez. Plus Volkner. Are you messing with me right now? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. We are just drawing into like... Jack. <laughs> Shit. And we have no Pidgeys. Ah, So bad. Like, even a switch would have been helped, and he gets a bulk. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Curious to see what kind of deck this is, though. This thing out the deck real hard. Is like Aerodactyl his main attacker? Like, I'm curious. Okay. Finally. I was only like, what? 200 turns? That's alright. <laughs> that is alright. There's a lightning, but I have to remind myself not to put it on him next turn, or else we can't attack. Like, I'm fine even if he does damage to Zero over here. Oh boy. Is this gonna evolve into Rampardos? I thought so. Jupiter 4? Tyranitar, Rampardos. 
Here it comes. Ooh! Look at that! We're gonna get knocked out here. We are about to get knocked out. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Does he get prize cards for it too? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. If it's an evolution Pokemon, he does 60 more damage, which will kill it. Uh, if it's a basic Pokemon, he's gonna kill it. It's not fun. Isn't that fun? Good thing we saved that, huh? Well, I'm gonna save my Dragonair and hope in one of these many turns uh, we will eventually draw into a Cynthia. So we can get rid of this too. Super important. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I did not know that something like that was out there. First time I'm seeing it. Pretty cool. Okay. We got the Lily after like 15 turns, alright? Whew, okay. Let's make some things happen here. That almost gets me through basic. Um, I need all my energies in hand. I'm gonna do that. Really hoping we would try to uh and there's something better there, but uh I guess not. We really need to get rid of this stadium too. Do we um only one Viridian, right? So there's one more in there somewhere. Hopefully we can grab that on time. How many basics does he need? What, what does this guy do? If your opponent's like playing thrones. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. You already have an active stadium, friend. Do you have a lily? Is that what it is? Boy, she just thinned out that deck pretty hard here. Like, double R's. <laughs> um, we haven't had many good chances to... to do what we want to, but... Um, That will give us some draw power uh, in the next turn here. I want to be grabbing things as quickly as possible. There's some Pokecoms. Pretty good. We should be good here. I don't. I don't think he can. Um, he can Oko our Dragonite. I don't think he has another trick like that. Rampardos up his sleeve, but that Rampardos was a was a cool trick. Really funny for like three fighting energies. He is a um, which we call it a stage one, but yeah, still, still pretty cool. I like your deck, Lacy Dark. I definitely like it. I like these innovative decks. I right? something that goes uh, beyond the normal meta game here.
All right. Now we have a field. Yeah, I probably don't need to do anything crazy this turn. Uh, that's pretty much... I think that should be the game. Even if he Oko's our Dragonite, we can attack with him immediately. So, yeah, that is game. Next turn I can uh, get my Zeraora out if I need to, but uh, El Dragonite GX uh, succeeds. Like, even if he gets Rampardos out, right? What is he gonna do? At most. We're not a basic, so he can't knock us out like he did the other one. That was really, really funny, though. I, get, I can see like that being pulled on like a fully charged Reshazard Rush and just laugh and laugh and laugh for days. But uh, if you guys saw that, that's pretty much how you want to play El Dragonite. Um, this is a free win here. We could do multiple things. I'll just show you for setup's sake. Game's over. Uh, we don't have anything else. <laughs> uh, let's grab him. Do do airmail. Break candy. Airmail. Dragonite. Sure, there's the whole setup. <laughs> so just to just to show you the odds of like what you can do here. Just style points for a little sleeping dragonite over here. But uh, that's the game. Um, I can't believe we didn't draw into like a single Volkner in that game. Uh, one of them was in our prizes, but that's still pretty nutty. Like, I would definitely expect to draw into at least one Volkner. We got that one Lily, like, throughout the whole game. Like, holy cow. Um, yeah, we are running a lot of energies, to be honest. <laughs> one more Cynthia might not... Like, I was running the initial one with, uh, three triple acceleration, but... Or, yeah, I was, but then I was like, no... I am gonna get creative and use four. Apparently, four is one too many for this deck, so we could do that. We could probably run two two on that. That way, we can add one more of those guys. Um, we're running maximum Volkners, right? Yeah, we're running four, four Cynthia's. I could think of like. Is power plant useful? Are we blocking out any of our own? Like only only um, him. So power plant might not be such a bad idea in this deck. <laughs> Two radiants aren't bad. Am I running one where I can't do short? Oh, uh, that also might... Yeah, let's just... Let's do it like that. Um, if you ran six... Right? You'd be, you'd be cutting it like... Reasonably close if you ran six, so probably uh, That's how we want to do it Let's get into another game here All right one more game for you guys with the Dragonite um, looks like we're into dark box here uh, Hope this is a good game to show off this deck Sorry if I sound a little tired guys it is late here uh, out on the west coast 
I'm recording because I have some other great content for you tomorrow and I want to get done with this uh, today so uh, that is the idea we have two Dragonites um, probably go for anyone we have a rare candy pretty good start here oh boy oh boy oh boy Okay. What are the chances of him knocking out this Rashini next turn? I don't know, with that Sable Tower out there? Uh, he's gonna need like a super scoop up. Oh, this is a variant for us. Interesting. Interesting for sure. Yeah, I definitely want to get GX Boy out there. Big Boy to fight the big fights. <laughs> um, he's got the Viridian out. Pretty good for us. He's bringing out them GXs. It's just like, how is he gonna retreat the Sable Tower is the big question here. Um, he's gonna need v, v or a switch. If he has switch, then he can come back. But, luckily I think Dratini survives one more turn. I didn't wanna retreat here, just get like an extra energy on him. Um, that was the intention. Okay, Poke comms. Let's get him out. Okay. Like, we could use Tapu Koko to accelerate. Um, cause I want a Cynthia, or we could put up another Jatini. I think in Tapu Coco. Actually, kill him next turn now. Um, see how this is going to be played, guys. So, unless he has a switch next turn, he's dead. Uh, if he switches into his Zeraora, he's dead next turn. So I will one shot whatever he like Mew Mew Zeraora. Uh, or yeah, Greninja Zer Z Greninja Zor. Sorry, I said Zeraora. I we have the Zeraora. Sorry. So um yeah, yeah. No matter what he does, he's gonna be in for a world of pain. I'm wondering if he has to switch. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad because we're gonna get to take this out right here. Much rather just discard his energies right here and uh, get him in a really bad spot. Because he's not going to see the Sky Judgment coming. He's going to be happy with his, what, like 130 damage, I think. We still survive to fight another turn. He's probably going to look for Umbreon Dark right here. Or maybe another Greninja Zark, I'm not sure. Umbreon Dark right is. So this is a really good game, guys. So uh, you see how that was set up really, really efficiently with the Tapu Koko. Uh, we are going to take some damage here, but it's not the end of the world because his uh, Sable Tar is already damaged and in, um, now in one-shot range. I think he still needs a, the V-Ball GX to get going here. 
He's fishing. He is fishing. He's filled up his bench though, that means only one Naga. So he's not gonna have that till next turn, so we're good here. Alright, my good sir. Alright. I wish we could have shuffled him back into the deck, but unfortunately, I think not. I could probably just bench him for the Pidgey. I can Viridian my Viridian for an energy. Nice, we'll get three cards here. Hopefully we get some good prize cards. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Show me the gold. Ah, oh, I, I saw the gold, but that, not, not the gold I wanted. Uh, it's all right. Uh, if he doesn't kill us this turn, which I doubt he'll be able to do, uh, Greninja's Orc will give him that's one. He'll do another 120, right? But we should be able to one-shot the, the Mew Mew here. So, as long as he doesn't kill us, which he shouldn't be able to, right? Oh, no. He can do Umbreon's, uh, Umbreon's GX attack. So, yes, he can kill us. Never mind. I was getting ahead of myself. Was getting ahead of myself. He can't Greedy Crush. He can definitely um, use that for 150. And he can hit zero or on the bench, so. Ooh, I probably should shouldn't have searched for uh shouldn't have put the ditto on the bench. That was that was my bad. That was my bad. I shouldn't have done that. Cause Oh actually Eh, it's not the end of the world. Okay. That works, right? That works? <laughs> Ah, uh, I wish, I wish we could have retreated him. Um, we're gonna be one lightning energy short here. That really sucks. Um, Is there any way he does 160 damage next turn is what I'm trying to calculate. We need to draw into like a fisherman or something here, because or another triple acceleration. Or else we're gonna need two turns to KO him, that's gonna be a problem. I 
I should have probably saved this for him. So he could have just Sky Judgment the next turn. I don't know. Maybe I played that a little wrong. Uh, let's see what he does, though. Yeah, he gave us the FF. Like, energy management is super hard for him right now. So, uh, there you go, guys. The Dragonite GX. I uh, hope you enjoyed that gameplay. But, uh, yeah, really fun deck. 270 damage, knocks out tag teams, comes out of nowhere with that triple acceleration energy. Uh, it's really fun to play. Uh, pretty much a budget deck, except for like a, couple, a few cards here and there, like a Dragonite GX, a Zeraora. But you should you should have some of those cards, some of the trainer cards already, like Volkner's if you're playing Picaroms. Um, so, things like that. But, uh, hope you like this video. Like and subscribe for more great Pokemon TCGO content. This is your favorite, Dr. Professor Oak, signing off. Have a good day, good night, wherever you are. And have fun playing this Dragonite GX deck. Let's get into another game here with a Dragonite GX. Uh, looks like we might be playing into Zapikaram. We win the coin flip. In case he does have a Picaram, we're going to want to hold our Viridian. Um, yeah, that's definitely a Picaram. So we'll hold our Viridian for a Thunder Mountain. Okay, so he had a Mulligan twice. Uh, he has the Choo Choo first, we have a Rare Candy, uh, and we have Young Dragonito over here. So, we have multiple options here. We could go for like, double discard on um, two Dragonites and then just try to get like a GX uh, attack off so we can set up our Dragonite quickly. Um, that's like a quick way to go about this game. But if he gets like a two turn setup, we're gonna be really, really in trouble. So, um, alright. Here we go. Let's see how many Dragonets we have in the deck. I can grab you later. One Arcane Charge. One, two. Okay, we have all our Dragonites. Let's see how many energies we have. Three Cynthia's, Volkner's. Uh, all the triple acceleration. So I think we should be okay if we. Um, yeah, if we discard one this turn. Uh, and then try to discard one next turn before we GX. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. If he gets a Zapdos out and hits this one out, it's going to be painful. Alright. I'm just thinking of which one to attach the energy to. Because we do, we need this guy to be healthy for our plan to work. Alright, we got a Dratini, a Pidgey, and a Volkner. That's pretty good. So we're, we should be able to use our Dragonite's attack next turn. Let's see what we uh, draw into here. Or the turn after, worst case. If we draw into one of the Dragonite's, that's perfect. He did aid. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, four lightning, one electro power, one custom catcher. Okay. El Necrozma GX. That's a nice card. I haven't seen that one before. Alright, he threw Zapdos in there, so he's not getting out any turn one attacks.
There's the Cynthia. If he has Thunder Mountain, he's gonna be able to attack us next turn, so... Let's see what- <laughs> Oh, okay! The, uh, the victory! If we Dragon Portered, we would've had an amazing setup, but... I guess he didn't get a Thunder Mountain or something. Um, okay, let's get into another game here. Dragonite is too scary, man. It's too scary for some people to handle. We will be right back after this short break because we can't seem to find an opponent. Alright, one more game for you guys with the Dragonite GX deck. Uh, it's really trying for a long game here. Uh, some of these games have been really, really quick. I haven't gotten to show you like the consistent power of the games and I'm sad I didn't record the ones from earlier now because I really thought we would get um, just games just like that. But either we get a really quick game um, or we, we just don't get a good game at all is basically how it's been turning out. Um, let's see what we can do here. I might go for the for the Dragon Porter um, shuffle here to set up quickly. still take us two turns, right? Yeah, we're good here. Let's hope he doesn't draw into like a super duper hand here. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Uh, we can... Volkner for Rare Candy and the Lightning Energy. A Rare Candy into our Piggy. get with another mysterious treasure ramp. Put like one more bikini on the bench or something. We'll hold on to that. Let's just hold on to that for next turn. If he tag bolts, our plan goes to, to waste, so let's not do that. Let's dance off right now. Um, do the dance off. Go. Okay. Uh, that's two for us. Let's just hold on here. See what we get next turn, and then based on that, we can we can plan our gameplay. We do have the Cynthia in hand, which is nice. If he gets Thunder Mountain this turn, we're fried. I want Pidgeotto for one more turn if possible, but uh, let's see here. This is a, this, this this looks like a variation of Pikaron. Uh, running some weird things here. If this had been a Dragonite, that would have been super awesome. But I can deal with that being a um, Is there any way we can discard um, the other Dragonite here is what I'm looking at. So if we Volkner for a Mysterious Coin next turn, 
Um, we can Dragon Porter for both uh, the Dragonites is my aim. Because we only get one if we do it right now, and I really want the uh, Hurricane Charge guy here too. The other option is to just bring him in Dragon Porter now. Um, mysterious treasure for the hurricane chart. Yeah, I think that's probably what we're gonna do here. Um, so we can get two attacks off. Um, actually, here. Let's KO the speaker off. Is that 70? Next turn, we can either Dragon Porter or Giga Impact. If we Giga Impact, he dies. If we Dragon Porter, uh, we get our guy. So, either way... It's not too bad for us. He's gonna get the uh, full blitz off here. He went for the tag bolt. Okay. Okay. That is okay. So good thing we didn't blow up our uh, other Dragonite there. We have Dratini's and um, Dragonair, so if we get Hurricane Charge out here um, with Rare Candy, Zero Aura can attack this turn for 160, which brings him to what? Still not enough, right? 230. Oh, we're going to be 10 damage short on that. Um, or we can bring him out, but it would take a few turns to get him ready to go here. Try to think. Do we have Lance in here? Yeah, we do. There's only one dragon left uh, in our deck. Yeah, maybe we should have just dragon portered. I completely forgot he might just tag bolt for uh, all that damage. So let's grab our candy. Let's grab an energy. We'll hold on to that. We'll see what we get next turn. Yeah, there were so many options there, so I could have done multiple things. Two electro powers was uh, the overkill. I didn't, I didn't see the two electro powers coming either. That was like perfect timing. Even one electro power would have been not enough, but two got it. So not a lot we're gonna be able to do there. Maybe I should have grabbed the switch. That's what I thought. Did he have to come into our hand now? Like, honestly, this is just super duper irritating. 
Like the one turn where we were gonna play Lance, this guy has to come into our hand to, to screw it all up. Isn't that wonderful? Oh man, all right, we're gonna see what, what we can do here. Might be a close game. Uh, we can still win this on the next turn. I think, or the next two turns, hopefully, if he doesn't pull something out of a hat here. Never give up. Touch. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think he has anything too crazy. We might just pull off a narrow, narrow win here. This might be the game that I've been waiting for. Wanted to show you guys a full game here with the Dragonito and how it can work. Uh, yeah, in the middle of all those bad hands, that mock delivery might have been our saving grace here. Although, if he does set up that second peek around, I have no idea how we're going to get through that if this Dragonite dies. Um, 170, right? What is... Uh, how much do we do? 170 plus 70 is 240? Okay, yeah, so... We can win this. Yes, we can. So that 70 damage just came in um, super clutch here. Yeah, we're gonna win this. Um, unless he has like double custom catcher or something extremely dumb in his hand. Um, I'm just gonna Volcar for the heck of it. Alright, here it is. Last dish effort. Now, now we get all the Dragon Knights. Now we get them. <laughs> After we basically don't need them anymore. So we'll definitely reset Stamp them next turn. I'm just hoping he didn't draw into like, um... Two electro powers here, or something crazy like that. How many cards do we have left? Eight. Okay. He did not. So. Okay, we're all, all out of basics. Uh, good to know. 
Good to know. He didn't have Electro Power, or he would have used it to kill this, for sure. Um, we need three more energies on our guy. Yeah, let's just make the safe play here. more water energy in here which might be exactly what we need uh, to make this work so let's hope we can get it there is no way he does um, discard a special no he does he doesn't do 50 here no way that is happening unless he switches back into his Pikaram, at which point we win the game. So, this looking this is looking good. Like, if he double custom catchers or something, or has an Electro Power in his hand, then we might be in trouble, but... Okay, there it is. Uh, I would have drawn the energy, attached to Zero Aura, switched out our Dragonite for the Zero Aura because we had three prize cards left. Uh, Zero, would have, Zero Aura would have been able to do one attack for 160, killed him, and then he would have bring out a Brian Ava Speaker on. We would have switched back and uh, done Sky Judgment for 270 with our last energy on a Dragonite. So uh, that's how we would have played that, just uh, putting that out there. But yeah. That's the kind of game I wanted to show you guys. So, uh, Dragonite does win in the long haul. It's a little unfortunate that he got those two Electro Powers there, just like beefed up his attack and knocked out our first Dragonite, or else this would have been a super duper game early on. But um, yeah, the Dragon Porter play can be risky, but it's like a super early setup and it's really good into something like Pikaram. So uh, with that, we'll be uh, wrapping up the Dragonite GX gameplays. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe for more great Pokemon TCGO content. This is your favorite, Dr. Professor Oak, signing off. Have a good day, good night, wherever you are.